I'm using a heat gun so I can heat up the, the wrap. When I pull back on the knifeless tape, it'll make it as easy as possible to cut and make it a straight line. If the weather is kind of cool or if the chrome itself, the chrome is kind of cool or if the wrapping is cool as well, don't do it. <laughs> when you cut with the knifeless tape, it'll just destroy it. it. It rips off like a piece of paper and it just, entire material just wasted. Or wait until the temperature's up somewhere around 70 and up. And that'll make it easier because the, with the heat, the sun is gonna be heating up the chrome. Over here, over here, out behind that, this. It'll heat up so when the tape is applied on it, it'll make it easy to cut. But in, bad, uh, in cold temperatures, definitely don't do it because it was just a it'll be a total waste of time heat it up slightly and uh, apply it in a way where you feel that it's getting hot but don't get too close to the chrome just go side to side Now I'm going to close it off because I want to make sure that I'm aligned. There we go. I'll press down one more time. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Because I, I can cut from right here as well. But I'd rather not because it's too tight. So I'd rather do it from this side and pull all the way back. Because this, even though it's cheap on Amazon, but still, you don't want to be wasting money. Boom. There you go. It started cutting from over here. Yeah. I'm gonna pull upward. Don't, yeah, don't ever pull back, pull upward. Now peel back, upward again, the remaining part of the knifeless tape. And you're done, perfect. Just the top part, now you have to do the bottom part. Down here, slightly easier, but you just gotta be very patient. Pull back on your knife. If you can see, so don't go all the way up. Just pull back. You just want you want the um, the knife, the sharp part cutting the the actual wrap, and not allow too much wiggle room for it to do any damage to your car. Okay. Let's see if it worked. pull outward yes I got it I got it saved me $700 by doing it myself this is literally the second time that I've been doing this my first time was with the uh, model 3 uh, all-wheel drive and now this is the performance and now just start tucking it in. I'll use this with the with the black felt simply because it's softer and won't damage the uh, the car paint or the chrome. And then I'll go with this one a little bit thicker to put some pressure. And then with this one because it's very flimsy and thin, it'll be sh sharper, easier to get to the corners. Something I do on the edges, right here in this edge, right there, I like cutting there, right at the corner. So I cut in that corner to make it easy to pull back. See? 
pull back right here. I'll cut the edges, those remaining parts. But what I do want is to be able to flatten it out first and foremost. That's the important part. Like all these little edges. See, for example, right here. It's just a matter of... Let me cut the remaining. Boom, done, look at that. And then you do the same thing over here. See, no big deal. Now let's tuck everything in, the remaining part. You can see, and start tucking all that in. All right, see this corner piece right here? That's gonna be the hard part because we need to cut right there, make sure that all this tucks in. Got it. And we got the entire piece perfect. It looks much better. Hey, Rocky. How are you, Rocky? Yeah? Doing okay? Rocky, Bishito, give me a kiss. Oh, thank you for that kiss. <laughs> Good boy, kid. This is all a curve. So when you do a knifeless and you're gonna be installing this, always pick the areas that you know for a fact that you do not wanna use the, uh, the X-Acto knife. And places where you don't wanna scratch or damage the chrome, that's where you need this. And other places, you won't need it. It'll be easy. Watch this. So there's the chrome and then there's this plastic sealer i'm putting the this this line right here at the edge of this and the sealer the reason is if you put it too much then you're gonna have some chrome left over and it'll be showing once you wrap it so you want the this uh the wrap to come over this slightly more so when this comes off the the wrap just remains right at the edge There we go. There we go. There we go. Right at the edge. As you can see. Right at the edge. It's going to go all the way down. Down, 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 down. Right? Yep. See, this part is hard to cut right here. The bottom, super easy. That doesn't require much. There we go. And I end sort of at the end. So the wrap is going to come somewhere around here and it'll go all the way down. Hi, buddy. How are you, mijo? How are you? You okay? You okay? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's an old guy. He just likes to relax now. He's had his many, many years now. He's around 15 years old now. Poor guy. I love you. I love you. Yes, I love you. So anyways, uh, this is where I end up doing all the cuts. Um, I got, so I got this whole, uh, it's like five feet by, five feet by four feet. Yeah, five feet by four. It cost me around 53 something off of Amazon. And I measured and I managed to get all the cuts that I needed. I want to conserve some of these pieces. I don't want to toss them out because they're still great. So it's just a matter of reusing them. Here we go. Peel it off. I'm not going to peel the whole thing. I'm going to peel it just by pieces. In order to give the, the knifeless tape some advantage for you, whenever it's cutting the wrap, what I do is this. So see where that line is at? See where that, that green line is at? What I do is, I go in here and I cut on the wrap so I can give this knifeless tape some advantage because when you pull back, it'll be cutting. But if you 
if you cut it here it'll make it easier to pull through here and cut everything same thing over here see see this line right here there we go so I'll go right here just a little bit boom done see how easy that was and then you just remove the remaining tape and some leftovers as well and there you go there watch this